really the only way we have of detecting pancreatitis and pancreatic cancer is through vague symptoms and a blood test called CA199. And you can measure CA199 in the blood of patients with pancreatitis and pancreatic cancer. And what you can see is that when the disease worsens, your CA199 levels go up. And so I asked the very basic question, what is CA199 and does it do anything? So for the first time, we did the experiment that showed CA199 elevation can actually cause inflammation in the pancreas. Without reduction in CA199 levels, this leads to a wound that never heals, and this will eventually progress to transformation in the pancreas and basically open the gateway to developing pancreatic cancer. So even though elevation of CA199 is bad, it represents a unique opportunity for a new therapeutic target. So what we did in this study was use CA199 blocking antibodies to reduce the severity of pancreatitis and prevent it from reaching higher levels of severity. So it's a way of treating pancreatitis that we really never had before and represents a way of actually not just treating existing pancreatitis, but theoretically preventing it from occurring in patients at risk.